have to go. Your brother's coming on Friday, right? My brother's coming up from Jersey to take me to his family. He's not too happy about he's that. Not. Yeah, he's not happy about it. Listen, my wife, if she sees you, if she hears you, if she smells you, my wife's gonna shoot you and then call the cops. And I'll play stupid. Listen, can you just, just stay down here? Be quiet, don't make any noise, just hide out for a night? I am a ninja. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. It is an old house. Exactly. Old houses make noise. Well, that's because old houses are haunted. Sure, I asked the realtor if we can camp out here before buying the place you treat me like I was insane. You are insane. And now we own a haunted house. Thank you very much. Are you kidding? Are you afraid? Oh, don't worry, Johnny. I'll protect you. All right. Oh, it's probably just a squirrel or something. Jeannie, we paid for a haunted house. There better be real ghosts. What? Keeping me up, man. Tell you what. Oh, I closed the window. Whatever it was must have skedaddled. Yeah, well, I found a puddle over by the stuff that was left here. I think it's under the bathroom. Pretty sure it's not ectoplasm. Oh, God. Whatever. You were scared. I was, I was humoring you. I was being a good husband. You were scared. You were scared. I'll see you this weekend. Be good. Talk to strangers. Take candy from whoever's offering. Stay out of trouble. Give me a call when you get to the airport, okay? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean any trouble. My, my cat likes to come down here. Yeah, well then try knocking on the front freaking door, man. We live here, who the hell are you? Oh, oh now you scared him. No, I, I'm sorry, you're right. It's just that nobody's been here for so long. I, you know, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. So the moving trucks and the boxes, that didn't tip you off or anything? Man, my wife would have killed you. You know, and she would have been perfectly justified. You know, I, I feel so ashamed. L let me just find my cat. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. So she got the house. Fuzz bus, all I have left. Hold on. So she was banging your boss, and she got to keep the house. Ugh. I didn't have a, the stomach for a divorce trial. And I couldn't go back to work for Mr. Harrison. Your name's Leon, right? Leon and Fuzzbutt, that's us. Psst, psst. Leon, you need to sue that bitch. No, I, no, I can't do that. That's not me. Oh, it's so terribly embarrassing. John, you think your wife is beautiful? My wife is beautiful. How often do you tell her? Not nearly often enough. Yeah, yeah, so I called my brother. We do not get along, but he, 
He's coming up from Jersey to pick me up on Friday. Oh, come on, Fuzzball. Where are you, boy? Leon, have you been sleeping down here at night? You know, there's a lot of tough people down at that shelter. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You, you know, the, the first night I was there, they, they took my phone and my shoes. All right, so Jeannie is going to be back on Saturday. And by then, you and Fuzzy Butt will be gone. Oh, all right. Right? Say it with me. You, me, and Fuzz Butt will be gone. Stay in a cargo hold. You know that. Can you just, just stay down here? Be quiet, don't make any noise, just hide out for a night? I am a ninja. Ah! <laughs> it's just me. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was great. No, I was trying to get up here and beat you to the punch. No, it's never gonna happen. You're too sensitive. You are my tough girl. <laughs> my beautiful tough girl. Don't forget it. So, what happened? So I get all dressed up, get to my meeting. I'm the only one there. Really? You canceled me without telling me. So I grabbed lunch and hopped on the next flight home. Okay, okay, that's great. Then I could take my beautiful wife out to dinner and a movie tonight, huh? How about hardware store and then takeout? How about compromise? Hardware store, movie, takeout. Mm, deal. Let's go. So you mean to tell me that she didn't even put down one trap? Oh, God, no. No, she named it instead. We decided to keep it as a pet. In fact, she named it Reginald the Mouse and uh, figured, you know, it's just one mouse. How much trouble can it cause? So fast forward about two weeks, she comes back. She goes to turn on her computer. <laughs> Whole thing, fried. Turns out that Reginald had built a nice little nest in the back of her hard drive. Uh, she lost all her work. She lost a couple clients over her, actually. It's not funny, but... Man, no, and uh, the pantry, though... She not realize there's no such thing as just one mouse. Exactly, right? But she had only seen one mouse at a time. So, you know, hey. But in actuality, there was like 50 Reginalds oh. floating around in that place, at least. No, my sister's never been that big on, uh, you know, follow through. I know where she gets that from. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. Our little problem in the basement? Um. You know how you and your sister like to let things slide? Well, that leak's been in the basement since we moved in. Oh, yeah, no, you're right, you're, you're right. Um. I'll get a quote from a plumber in the morning, all right? But, but honey, it, it, it's a bathroom, okay? It's made to handle moisture, and that's why they... Why what? Uh, that's, that's why they make water-resistant paint. No, John. The paint's on the outside. The leak is on the inside. You know, 
you and your sister procrastinate, so a simple little fix, it turns into a freaking army of Reginalds. You gotta stop letting things slide. It's turning into a really bad habit. Jeez, are you still freaking out? You know, I did see a cat in the backyard earlier. Maybe he's getting in the basement. Maybe that's your ghost. Yeah, this is John Morgan. I'm calling about your brother, uh, Leon Zapinski. He's kind of a dick. Listen, what was the one rule? No, 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 I know, but I'm just saying what that... What was the one rule, Leon? I didn't think she'd be home. What was that? I think she's home. Listen, listen, okay? You're a plumber, all I right? Am. You're giving us an estimate for the freaking... You're a neighbor, all right? You're a neighbor. We're looking for your stupid freaking cat. Josh, who are you yelling at? I'm just helping a neighbor find a cat. I live here. I don't think it's the neighbor's cat. I think it's Leon Zupinski's. Yeah. Uh. Not to freak you out, but the last guy who lived here killed himself. His wife took him for everything. They found him down here with his cat. I think the cat might be making your noise down here. Poor thing. 